All right, here with Jamie Ball uh, after night one of the 360 Nationals. I think you got a little swirly in the first couple of laps. You fell back to 10th, ended up 8th and 3rd uh, in points after a pretty decent night for you for the 360 class points that are here. Yeah, consistent as can be. You know, we're, we're pretty decent when it comes to qualifying and rolling forward here or there. And I'm not the most aggressive driver in the world, so the whole go for rub type deal doesn't work out for me. So that's why I really like this Nationals format and why we've made We'll be locking into, I think, ninth out of our 13 tries in my career into the A main and just, uh, you know, rolled forward there in the heat race. Surprisingly, I mean, I, I thought we had a chance, but with, uh, I think it was Reitzel and Peck there, I was just a little nervous to how the start was going to go and finally starting fifth, I <laughs> got the better of everybody and just rolled forward and I had confidence going in there in the feature. Track was a little weird, just uh, it was kind of dirty and then it got sticky and we were first half of the race, just kind of laid right a little bit once the fuel load burned off and got the wing back. It got transitioned down to the left rear and was able to start rolling and rolling the middle well and rolled back up to eighth and was close to seventh. So it's just uh, it's one of those deals I've perfected being a point racer this year. So I kind of knew that as long as I could stay in that top 10 here tonight that we should be locked in. Yeah, there's the people that don't like the Knoxville Nationals format were all over the quick timer not transferring in to the A main. You started right next to him and ended up second in your heat. Obviously, you have a car that can pass at times. What do you need in your setup to make it go faster on Saturday? I need the car how it ended to start that way. We were we were really good there at the end and really got rolling and lap times really picked up and were consistent. So I think if we can just adjust a few things there in the rear to accommodate for the fuel load, especially with 30 laps, you know, it's it always gets pretty slick, pretty wide and, and the Duncans do a great job. So. We're looking forward to it. I kind of always joke, you can see the front, you can get to the front. And just to be, I mean, if we're third, I would think we end up in that eighth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth range. So you can see the front, you can get there. I'm trying to break the journalism rule and, and do a talk about here, but tell me about this throwback-esque paint scheme. It's not really a throwback. I thought for sure when I saw it the first time this afternoon that you were going to say Larry ran this or some, <laughs> someone that you knew. But this is just Victory Fuel wanted a kind of vintage look, and I think it turned out great. Yeah, I think it did too. Uh, we're, uh, JC and I are a distributor uh, for Victory Fuel, so we've got eight pallets of it sitting in my shop. We're getting grape on Tuesday or Wednesday, right before nationals. And just Kevin and Jordan are good friends of ours, and we wanted to help them out when their product came out. And uh, being in all the business and sales stuff I am, I'm like, we got room for it, let's just slip it on in. And when Kevin wasn't able to bring a car this year, I told him that I'd, I'd do one and that my sponsors were on board. So Dylan Schneebel uh, was able to, he designed it kind of that 50s cafe car type, you know, retro look. And uh, Brandon with Think and Ink printed it and laid it all on. And I'm in love with matte vinyl now. I think it looks good, it's sharp, and it's not overdone. It's not shiny and glittery, but I think it looks real good. And I can't wait to see some on-track photos. No offense to the Chrome people, but I'll, I'll take Matt over Chrome any day. It looks fantastic. And I've seen, on top of it, a lot more people using Inferno Armor and uh, Industrious Solutions over the course of, uh, well, today and the rest of the racing season. Yeah, we've sold quite a bit. You can you can pick it up at the Swindell Speed Lab trailer this week. They got a stock of ours in there. And uh, we just want to help people. We want everybody to be safe. You know, you saw some of these people catch on fire lately, and I don't know why it's happening so prevalent. Maybe it's just top of mind awareness, but if a $45 bottle can make it so you can just go home at night to your family and friends, I mean, we're all important to somebody, so that's our goal. Absolutely. You guys can catch Jamie Ball here at Knoxville Raceway. If you're not here, get on Duravision. You don't want to miss the next nine days. It's going to be something epic. Yeah, thank you, and thanks for all you do. Uh, I watch every single video oh, you, you don't post have on YouTube, that. so Appreciate always you, race day.